of Aquarius, bitch. You know what I'm Real shit. Now we're going to know how you how they practice witchcraft, how they always been practicing. You know what I'm saying? Manipulation. You can replace witchcraft with manipulation. You know what I'm saying? You might get lost, you know, like up, down, left, right, R2, left, two, the night wolf or somebody, my, my animality or something. You know what I'm saying? Your animalistic natures come out and get lost. They got a program for it. They got a program for it right there. Like, for computers, y'all you know say a program system for already that you don't know how to go outside and look at the sun transit yourself. Somebody did it for you. You lack knowledge somewhere down the line. Your mind is open for manipulation. You get so far down the line of manipulation, god damn it, it start looking like magic. Motherfucker just throw some goddamn signs and symbols in front of your fake new black and white newspaper, television screens. Uh, sad. This just might just throw some narratives out there and stuff. Blue, blue Democrat. You no, know I'm saying liberal, red. Uh, sad. So before you even get into what's actually going on, you lost in the color. You lost intellect that they forced down it they told you what it actually mean and then before you know it you're getting sacrificed to one of these 12 gods 
that they didn't encapsulate it and call it the sun or something like that. Like they trying to mess up my YouTube right now. You know what I'm saying? Which is why I'm so fuzzy or whatever like that. But if I would have got on the Wi-Fi, it wouldn't even work. I just tried it. So it's all manipulation right now. Psyops and stuff like that that they practice on people. Don't ever, don't ever forget my channel is the highest channel that any type of psyop will be programmed on. So you, you already know. Anytime you somebody with some true knowledge or some concept, they they try to do stuff on your channel that don't make sense. There's another thing that's going on too that y'all need to watch out online. A lot of bots. So it's some AI bot thing going on right now where they just flood people's channels and throw a whole bunch of random stuff in the comments and stuff like that too. Now I got trolls, but I be having those too. And I witness other people have those to confirm what I think I've been seeing and being programmed by Intel agencies and stuff like that. And you know, a lot of times they be trying to find ways in their mind to think that they're helping people with mental illness and but their way of figuring it out is also creating mental illness and things of that nature. So this the, the seat that they be in that to be trying to play God and things of that nature, I, I wish they stopped. Because they're not mentally comprehended enough to be even in that position, especially if they have to sit back from a distance and watch us based off our reaction for them to even come to a conclusion or decision where to push things into anyway so if they don't know how to steer things based upon them generally understanding morality and they, they have to see our reaction and responses in order to come up with some type of conclusion that steer a narrative and something that they're orchestrating anyway as an oral tradition that it doesn't lead to any real godly universal law morality it only leads to something being moral or good for one group of individuals and some other group of individuals getting crumbs in some way shape or form and creating psyops until they get till they get it in law to get rid of people like me so right now they have to do a little witchcraft like this online and make things fuzzy and stuff like that So you got to peep game now and then create the psyop for you to feel comfortable with what you consider lit or not. And therefore, they can put a puppet in that position to fulfill that spot. And then you get left with your mind open and vacant down another rabbit hole and things of that nature. And then they got you in another uh, mark of the beast energy mark on your set. Go mark is a means it's a period of time. Beast is the allegory in the schematic as something catering to our desire. Anytime you get led on a desire that they have made based upon a convenience to rock you to sleep, that period of time is when you're going to give your blood, sweat and tears and they're going to be able to see that reaction and be able to set up the next technology or thing they want us to build part of their world with as far as business, entertainment, education, religion, and poly, AKA get your ass a job. So for the most part, they look at what we're reacting and responding to and create necessities. They never sit back and just look at a universal law of morality and come up with a necessity or will be no such thing as you having a water bill. If that was the case. So they they capitalizing off everything which brings us into this video right here. They even capitalizing off the goddamn sky. And this is going to help you understand how this is on a broad scale of how they'd be kind of quarter categorizing people thank you so much for the donation bradley core i appreciate that from the bottom of my heart real shit i got a channel and this is going to be the uh like 3692 you know what i'm saying the numbers is powerful but yay you know what i'm saying they got a um little <coughs> now they got a little program now when i say program i don't want you to think that they're controlling the sky this is some any individual has the ability to do. I don't know why this is so like blurry. They didn't want to come in clear. They didn't want to go out blurry. Like you got to make up your mind, YouTube. Like for real. Make up your mind. It's like throwing me off. All right, it's, it's clear enough though. And then, watch, as soon as I start talking, some deep stuff is going to go blurry. We're going to blurry again because it don't make no sense. Now, when we get into, now your zodiac itself or your whole astrological wheel. Now, based off their template, just you being here, you are a micro version of a fallen star. So this puts you in an aspect of whatever form, mentally, 
to even bend in and become your organs, that's going to be your way your mind work, your astrology, your chakras, or whatever the case may be. So they're look, they're creating a system around looking at this like if you're here in the first place, you didn't know how to govern your mind, and they fail. They don't know how to govern their mind, but since they was the first ones to create a government or whatever the case may be, this makes them justify a, some rulership type of position and had that type of allegory through all their rulerships and civilizations. That is the thing. They put you through many tasks based upon this same type of circumstance that ultimately leads you into knowing how to build a community in some way, shape, or form. Now, each astrological alignment, aka every no two snowflakes is the same, this is something you have fell into, and they're looking at this as a template as this is something that we need to figure out how to create discipline around and eradicate it from the world. So these are fallen natures of how we fell in the first place, or they wouldn't or you wouldn't be reading the book in its context, the book of Genesis and Adam and Eve about the fall. And if you understand the allegory of it and things of that nature, I'm just basically breaking down more, putting more meat and, you know, uh, shit over the goddamn uh, mashed potato gravy over the mashed potatoes and things of that nature so you could get a full context of i'm not going off trail for what they already telling you anyway of how they setting things up right or would be no sky constellation god or whatever the case may be to help y'all understand their template your ancestors spiritual predecessors gave you different ideas that you have been blocked and limited from by being destroyed and eradicated based off carnation incarnation and reincarnation cycle and you're still having to figure out how to realize and wake back up how to take your power back aka understand the universal law not someone's remix version that they took out of the mechanism and capitalized off of it and you up under a false sense of some access we all got you know what I'm saying? So even going back to Easter, you'll be preaching about Easter as this civilization, this civilization. And they was all took over by a group of motherfuckers, shadow priests, that just updating their concept of worship and the star being on the east if it's bringing springtime on your geographical location. Once you understand that universal law, you see where all the religions, all the other concepts is coming from, and you able to use access for yourself and things of that nature. Because you understand universal law as above, so below, you're able to act it out in a nature that it's supposed to be. Not some false sense that puts you in a circumstance where you get crumbs and they get the bread loaf. You being a, And when that when we saying that, that's not always dealing with money. That's sometimes dealing with intellectual property. Sometimes that matters more because down the line, God could come to you in many other ways beyond money to still make you feel supported or secure or respected based upon whatever you brought to this earth that God is using you as a vessel for and things of that nature, which is the most pure state is teaching to wake another individuals up. But for the most part, these are the circumstances that you have to be in to before you can even know what's going on in front of you. You have to put yourself in a space where people are at spiritually that they only got those handful of things that they're pointing to to even reach their conclusions. Therefore, you won't get lost in following the money or following the goddamn history that just leads you to a puppet, a ruler. It, those are puppets or a celebrity. Or that's how the pharaohs was back then, how the presidents is now. It would lead you into the practice. See, when you don't follow the history or the money and you follow the practice, you actually see what's going on from the individuals that like to stay behind curtains anyway. And those are the people who are cultivating the practice for you to even see any form of history dealing with money and people in rulership. These individuals are going off of practice. You know what I'm saying? For an example, you could say Donald Trump is whatever he is because you think he want to be the president or, or joe biden but both of them are doing a practice they we went through some government system pardon me y'all they went through some government system and i'm still trying to get recovery right and then the thing that they're participating in is a a, a sense a, a sense of values that have been put amongst us anyway based off classism in some way shape or form and Whatever individual suit, the classism bias or whatever the case may be, is a whole little system that in, in their mind or in your mind, you just think that's the go the government into something we in. But in the Masons and the Jews mind, this is a system that's a necessity for keeping things in check in order, being behind closed doors and things of that nature. So the people you see on these pe on these pictures at the Bohemian Grove is just the puppets. But the people who gave them the concept to make them think that the Bohemian Grove is something important to meet up at, those are the people you don't see. You see what I'm saying? So you have to understand a little golem saying who in control of the practice, not who's in control of the history and the money, because you will always fall short.
you'll find one history and a person with money or in rulership and find how they got overthrown by someone else then find how they got overthrown and find how their origin find how their origin but they're all doing a system and whoever created that system is the individuals that's behind closed doors or behind the curtains and things of that nature you might think sunco gas station is better than bp gas station but who created the whole system to make a form of gas important in the first place they could have created anything else with any mineral they came up with the idea to create a car and it needing gas and them creating a piping system then it get filtered down through a societal practice that we're all really kind of practicing some sun and moon transit type shit even when it comes to the elements and the minerals that we use and the technology that they're building off of it all of it got something to do with the as above so below concept now look so based upon would you be in here your zodiac alignment to them in their mind is a circumstance of which you fell into in this demon world and which you need to share being in this purgatory or being in this hell this is why it's described as hell being here and things of that nature now for the most part it's like a school to make it if you into pseudo type knowledge and and things of that which that's pseudo to call it in a hell because all of it is a mind state condensed in physical forms but for the most part you're here to shed now and particularly what you hear to shed beyond all the witchcraft that they got you in is on the pure premise of the time you was born that resonate with how the nature is participating throughout that time of the year and based upon our mind creating everything from the inside out you have a representation to that time of the year or walking snapshot of that time of the year going through other times of the year now, when you don't know how to construct discipline or things of that nature, this is what they're considering you being in a deserted land, tribe of Seth, or you being below the horizon, or you not arising your solar plexus into higher consciousness or awareness or your left brain chakras. Anything above the waist, your organs, and the chakras that made those. And thing above the horizon chakras, that's all the left brain. Below the horizon is all they call that the right. You see what I'm saying? It ain't your right actual brain and your left actual. That's all retardation knowledge. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, now, as far as these 12 deities, the 12 sun positions before I do a full cycle as a year, right? All of these has a representation of the nature and you being born at these specific time, you are a walking vessel of that nature. And they're looking at it in, the, in their mind like since we're here in the first place, this system is created to get rid of, ridicule those things or create systems to ridicule those energies from the earth. So they're looking at it like their God is telling them since they created a rulership that's based on philosophy, philosophy and discipline. And their their origins was the as above. So below how they created their cuneiform hieroglyphic as an oral tradition, they 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 put themselves in the seat as in charge of controlling people's character personifications. So with this early stage of witchcraft astrology, right? Every person born at a particular time of the year has the mental and vessel and interaction of what we actually see in nature as an interaction for us to even see God that has no form. So this is their mind state, right? So when you a person acting out of what they have sat back and studied each time of this year, you are a reprobate, low hanging fruit, someone that's not utilizing their high hanging fruits on their high organs on their high part of their tree were by the skull and things of that nature so you know you, you gotta have to get into their mind it's all about esoteric then the anatomy you know what i'm saying so because you know a lot of people will watch this that's into certain things and want to quote unquote call things pseudo not having the starting point on what you're seeing in the first place to start to build on to argue for and against when you know the starting point you it's beyond these words that you're hearing such as like astrology when it comes with baggage and you'll be able to get to the space a person is in before they called it these names and a handful of spaces that they're in to, to reach certain conclusions where you're just tapping into knowledge at this point. Then you'll be able to dive into all the biases and see what's right or wrong. But you have to reach some equilibrium, unbiased space to see anything from a true nature at all, pos all possibility. The true God going to show you something and you could be used as a vessel. You can't be lost in biases. And that's the only way. Thank you so much for the... Uh, Donation, Tyree Jaquan. I appreciate that for the bottom heart. Real shit. Yeah, the infinition. I'm saying we use infinite, infinition. So, now, 
the when you understand these concepts and how much they're over analyzing things, but they make it like since it's teamwork makes the dream work and they make y'all do what they want y'all to do anyway, even when you think you're rebellion by understanding this reverse psychology concept and stuff like that. Here's how they can still have this energy where it seemed like it's magic or it seemed like it's working, but really is this mind manipulation. You know what I'm saying? And you're being mentally manipulated into interacting into some global ritual and spell that only caters to individuals who created the practice, not the individuals who's building the practice, a.k.a. the servants or the slaves or the Egyptians, a.k.a. The Babylonians, you guys, and stuff like that. That's what they call. That's what it means. People in bondage and stuff like that. And the first ones who got out, Jerusalem. So these are all mental characteristics that if you walk these out physically, wherever you go, you're that characteristic also. So this is how we're able to make allegories about America being a new Babylon and stuff like that. You see what I'm saying? Because it's a, it's a mental thing. And then it's like a as within, so without, then as above, so with, so below. So as within, so without is how we all created it. As above is state capitalism energy. They start to take what we created as within, so without. Then the lighter forms become as above, which is why the lighter forms float. And the lighter forms take the shape and form of the heavier form that's containing it. Right? And then for the most part, um, as below is us being able to understand what we're doing. So our carnation, incarnation, and reincarnation stay sufficient and we don't lose control of that and keep creating ill forms that we keep complaining about as far as the bodies that y'all are in currently that lack comprehension based upon the alchemy and the, the way y'all put in the mathematical percentage of it together. So it's not able to perceive everything the way you used to perceive when you didn't have so many layers, so many mental forms condensing into physical and organ forms and stuff like that. So it's about learning what you're doing in the middle of doing it live and learning disciplines of how to get out of certain things. And it ain't what you do is how you do it. And you're getting out of eggs all the time, getting out of old mental forms. Those what these is what they're calling eggs, mental forms and a mental form. The first man was a woman. So that means a thought. A man, once it expands, you add more micro second comings in it, second thoughts and feelings in it, it becomes a womb. And then that's what we're talking about, feminine, something that can receive or contain, contain a micro, what was it in the first place, a man. So this is where a boy coming from. First man was a woman, gas condensing into liquid, boom, man, woman. And then once we see it inside, fusing friction and pressure, this is where we get sons and daughters and things of that nature the micro versions or boys and girls. And then we see a new thing accumulate as creation, mutation, evolution, and then new things become to be, become, come, accumulation. This is how light condenses and become physical and things of that nature based upon the time in one space that is accumulating in with that fusion, friction and pressure that's making more accumulation, accumulation of condensing which creating the sea, the water, not water landing on earth. And then somehow water created some water cycle system that became more percentage than earth. That don't even make no goddamn sense. So it's stupid. Everything come from the spark of imagination, gas, all of our imaginations together, liquid, that condensing as that teamwork makes the dream work being inside of that. You got your own mind. We all got this all mind together. And then it condenses as the atmosphere that we are in, the whole water cycle itself. Then that produces what we're thinking light, which is really us experiencing fusion, friction and pressure in a lighter scale for us to endure because we're in a heavier, tougher form to endure the same substance that that we made in the first place to become the bee, which is why you can feel the weather. You know what I'm saying? You can't feel no goddamn it, uh, something you ain't from a distance, but you can feel the weather from a distance because that's part of what you are. That's what your mind is condensed as the physical. Once something dead, that's when it become material and shape and form out of water. Earth gets shaped and formed out of water. That's how we get sea, sand, crystals, gems, and, and dirt and mold. And this cement and shit like that came from masons and shit and builders and blocks and shit. So, y'all got to peep game. Now, this is how, now, each position of the sky carry a certain nature. So, even if you wasn't born at these times, sometimes you may get caught up with acting out one of these energies. And this is what made them 
even dive in deeper into understanding you got seven position of these cycles that you're interacting with the way your mind cycle bend in and become your actual brain so for the most part when the sun is in aries this is how you could get sacrificed to the amen ra god when the sun is in taurus this is how you could get sacrificed to the canaanite god or bow god like this is their concept of it so they use puppets right prompt them up on stages world stages right have them in a position that you may want to be in based upon a society that they created for survival mode or however the case may be and then play a tarot card out through these individuals take these individuals through a narrative based upon a certain time of the year and cater into the as below whatever zodiac sign or natal chart that they is and their social security and then eradicate some nature that you was drawn to that overall they see negative like they create music and porn but they don't necessarily know how to make music and you ain't gonna see no jew or no mason in porn see what i'm saying you might see some that walk amongst y'all whatever the case may be but these are the things that they're creating and based upon y'all reaction and it goes beyond that i'm just using those as an example based upon how much y'all give y'all blood sweat and tears to these things allows them to cre put place certain things in these things to mess up y'all physical health y'all assassinate y'all character and be on a stage for others to be like question whether they want to do that or not or if they're going to do that come in some more sophisticated way of doing it ultimately the government going to create anyway because they create the problem and a solution and they got this whole little system to sacrifice and they think in their mind this is how they sacrifice the natures of that need to be eradicated off this earth regardless of the vessel is being played through my problem is this they set up the scenario for a person to fail. For an example, right? Let's say if they was doing this for a right cause, right? It will be something universal. Anyway, beyond them creating a government and making people feel like they have to work for money to survive anyway. What happens is, what makes it negative is, and them playing God negative is, it ain't universal. It's a society they created, money and things of that nature. So it's things you have to do to even reach the top. You can't even... It's certain things that P. Diddy and stuff like that is um, being accused for that he had to do anyway to even get that type of money. Ask anybody all the way down to Nori about the doors and stuff like that. So in some cases, certain cats who got a lot of money, like Vince McMahon, P. Diddy, you can't even get in those doors if you ain't already shaking nuts with other nuts and, th and other type of stuff and things of that nature. Right? Now, the people that's in the shadows, not at the Bohemian Grove, not at the Matt Gala, you know what I'm saying? Not at these things, not in these new cars, not in these new buildings and stuff like that. Somewhere in the Vatican somewhere. What they do is create a goddamn narrative based on whatever alignment we got going on right now that cater to the as below personal alignment that's used for East Star, North Star for summertime, West Star if it's uh, fall time, South Star if it's uh, uh, for, uh, winter time. And whatever celebrity is getting a lot of attention at the time, they can use the very same thing that this celebrity sold themselves to, sold their soul to, or sold the ability that they so have, their creative gifts and talents, thoughts and feelings, towards something that they had no business dealing with if they would have created their own system themselves, getting trapped in the magic square. So you don't technically sell your soul, you sell with the ability your soul have. Just like a female don't technically sell her pussy, she sell the ability she uh, that it has. Other than that, she'd be cutting it off and be like, I'll come back later to pick it up when you're done. It's not like that. So you see what I'm saying? Wherever you go, there you are. You the spirit. Or we're going to have to get a spirit another name. It's just what you choose to pay attention to. That's where your energy go. Your collection of thoughts and feelings. Your mind ain't your spirit. Your spirit create light. Your spirit is a light bearer. Your spirit ain't the light. That's how y'all get lost also. And when you think your spirit is the mind, and then you got a shadow government calling your mind light forms and claiming that their God could come in a light, guess who controls your mind? The individual who gave you a word and a meaning for it and you sitting there observing your mind change you you giving birth to an idea and an idea expiring you not having the same thoughts you had five years ago but you still there what is the thing experiencing thoughts coming and going and thoughts you won't have anymore but you still there the spirit the individual solo spirit the space which is your soul that ain't your mind see what i'm saying so you will get lost and if you get uh you be lost in the mind or in lost in somebody else's mind when you realize that your spirit ain't the one observing the mind and you think you is the mind your spirit is always observing 
So you observing the mind. So you observe your mind change. You observe your feelings change. What is that thing observing things changing? You can't say you the thing that's changing. That don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? If I'm sitting here observing a thought that I no longer have five years later, but I'm the thing observing that change, and what I'm and I'm so spiritual, I know that what I'm observing is thoughts. I can't get I can't get lost in any scientist or anybody telling me my spirit is my mind or my thought or whatever like that, because God gave me my spiritual predecessor. And if my spiritual predecessors got destroyed, so that original thought don't work because it's not a, it's not enough teamwork makes the dream. So be it. Who gives a fuck? My spiritual tribe so strong, I give them the courage to come through one vessel, and then that's going to spark the mind for the next mind to understand that. Thank you so much for the donation, South Hour. I appreciate that from the bottom, Mark. Real stuff. But they got y'all in so many mental cages, you won't even understand that. So your spirit will leave one mental form to another mental form, not knowing that your spirit is just observing these things. And if you don't know that, that's what you're observing, you get lost in it. And that's why I tell y'all to believe everything, but don't believe in nothing because these words are spells. Once you go in something, you have to argue for or against something. And only reason you're falling because you lack knowledge. So you falling into trying to find something that suit a bias or insecurity. And the government got a whole bunch of programs in the esoteric Walt Disney World for you to fall into. So y'all be falling forever and all kind of lostness and shit like that. All the way till you realize there's some type of insecurity you got to burn away and you wouldn't even been falling down that hallway. You know what I'm saying? In the first place. And then you'll start to realize a lot of their scriptures is based on small dick energy. Their insecurities. You could just come outside and your mama be proud of you. A lot of them ain't had that type of concept. And shit like that. So a lot of their early templates to help things start from a concept of being more damaged than you. And then you'll be finding yourself working way harder other than smarter. Giving way more of your time to the world. Getting less crumbs out of it. And stuff like that. And that's how you know these individuals <clears throat> who was weaker than you created some mind manipulation in order for you to build their shit. And they don't have to put in as much work. You know what I'm saying? So they ain't the ones in these cars. They ain't the ones in these construction sites and stuff. These are aunties, uncles, and, and you. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times we get lost when we online too much and we don't have nothing going on in real life. And I don't like to say we because I'm in real life. But I hear the stuff out a lot of sometimes other people's mouth and content creators where you could tell they kind of lost sense of reality. So when they say that's why morality go out the window and when they say they, they very vague with when I'm saying they. But ain't nobody working these jobs or anything of that nature except our aunties and uncles and things of that nature that a lot of times they don't be they when they be talking about one thing. We can understand it. Okay, you, you mean the government or something like that. But in another breath, at times, they'd be talking about things that we act, the shit is in our power, in our aunties and uncle power. But, you know, they might be pandering on a moment online. So you might not be able to catch it where it sound wrong in this context. It, we, it makes sense in this context, but it don't make sense in this context and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? We could say one thing in this context, it makes sense. Okay, yeah, we was here first. You know what I'm saying? And things of that nature. But then in another context, we'll be saying, yeah, because they trying to make us work or whatever. But ain't nobody making us work, though. Nobody doing that, though. You know what I'm saying? That, that's, ain't nobody at these jobs but your aunties and uncles and you waking up every morning at that clock. So, God damn it, that that's something y'all just ain't doing as a team where it makes a dream work. We don't get to say they at that part. We don't get to say they. That, at that part, we got to take self-accountability. You know, us. We could have been did some petition or something like that. Cut water bill. The hell we got a damn water bill for? We all go into school and there's a class in grade school, a period, where we all learn piping system. And we've been doing it for so long, the piping system is sufficient. We so bored, we ain't got nothing else but better ways to create new piping systems. Before we even go to college, these are something that the young men learn. And the females learn something else about the household or something like that. These as well classes that could have been put in there all the way to the point that it could be something in junior high and high school as a period that if you don't motherfucking pass, it's, it's against the law for your ass to have kids. You know what I'm saying? Even if your ass graduate, you can pass all the other classes. If you ain't passed that class, yeah, you can still graduate. You just got to pay for a college course or pay for a college test. And if you still don't pass that, it's still against the law. And that should be the only reason Planned Parenthood exists, stuff like that. And a lot of, a lot of issues will be solved on Earth. You know what I'm saying? All, all young men know how to build a house and probably working, working on a house all, all, 
almost being built by the time they finished high school because they started in junior high. And, they, and it's already like a husband-wife system going on in these schools and stuff, how they can set up society and make things smart. Females already know how to do other certain stuff and know how to decorate or know how to architect or some guy, some goddamn shit that anything could have been in grade class besides the other 87% of shit that no one uses once they become an adult. The only thing I use right now is English and math. I don't know about shit else I use from that time. So you got to think about it. You know what I'm saying? Things like it could have been easily classes and stuff like that, that that the lot of stuff we were paying for would have been free because we it would have already been a normal in the society. We would have had other things to pay for higher technology, George Jetson type world. We would have been in and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Way past Japan and stuff. Way past. We would have been on uh, PlayStation 13. We would have been on Xbox 18 and stuff like that. They, they, they plan with y'all and stuff like that and wait till someone else do a smaller version of it. But it's like retarded. So you got to peep game. But for the most part, let's say you an individual that give a lot of the whatever they created, the Canaanite bow or Taurus energy around money, stability, security, fixed earth, uh, materializing, manifesting. And let's say you're part of one of their business, entertainment, education, religion and politics where you're you're willing to do the dog eat dog world to reach the top in that area. OK, now you're going to be propped up. You're going to be put on because you have sacrificed and separated enough from people that you came from in the background, from your original background. And you have agreed with a lot of the fart cloud type stuff that the industry got you sold up in as far as thinking that you're doing the right thing, how they convinced you because you're getting the survival mode, the money. Right now, there's going to be a time that you gather up so much of a big audience because you already are getting attention and stuff like that based upon if you let your spirit being used for somebody else's magic square though you're giving your gifts and talents your thoughts and feelings to something that's under their symbolism is whatever the case may be once you gather up enough people from your background to give you this praise or this attention or whatever like that here's a scandal that they get ready to put you into because you know you really don't control your own life you know what i'm saying they got you sold up where your spirit have to do things at compromising times where you don't feel comfortable doing it and truly if you got a god gift you should be able to do things when you want to and when it feel right when god says it's the right time and when god says it's the right time it don't really have anything to do with the physical world that's in front of you once you got individuals playing god in the industry and things of that nature it ain't got nothing to do with how you feel how you think and is it the right vibe during that particular time or not bet you get up or you ain't gonna get this check and don't you like this check don't you like what and then they send you a whole bunch of recommendations managers assistants all these weirdo ass motherfuckers and shit like that that they don't even know what they doing they in the same position as you so it's the blind leading the blind type of circumstance. Then before you know it, you're in a weird compromising circ situation being used as some goddamn scandal where you can really sit back and be like, wait a minute, I know I didn't really have a hand in this, but the hand that I had to put in the cookie jar was for me to be in this position in the first place. But the, the cookie I'm pulling out right now ain't necessarily what I was expecting. It's like, you, you, it's like you'll be put into a situation even if it's something that's blamed on you where you can't even justify that it's not, but deep down in the spiritual world and it have to be other spiritual people around you to be able to see this little witchcraft that you just got put on, got put on you. Uh, and it's deep and it's almost like a curse. You'll never get out of it. They call it assassinating your character. It's a whole bunch of, it's a whole lot of shit how they do it. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't know magic yourself or know how to get the fuck in and get the fuck out when you're supposed to in this motherfucker shit, then they own you. You know what I'm saying? All the way to the point that you're not corporeal. They own your death. They own the time, the date, and they and what it's going to mean and how they're going to use it to steer society in another way. And in their mind, it's them on the highest level sacrificing you to their God. But you is seen as a characteristic that or some desire that they're sacrificing to their God. And their God is going to give them the grace of being able to maintain rulership by eradicating and this is this is in their mind this is what make it sick by eradicating that nature off this earth now if that was really something how it was supposed to be done positively i get it the way they doing it is demonic because you wouldn't think the way you think or act the way you act without the program in the first place that they're creating because they're already reprobates then they're trying to make it seem like y'all more reprobate than them so this is what makes them have to play god but they able to justify it and don't receive karma because they could point you off the cliff, call it anything. You walk off the cliff yourself, lack of knowledge. And them, they're able to justify it because it works. 
that it don't even go no further than that. It don't have anything to do with God or anything. My manipulation. And teamwork makes the dream work. So God will let people keep going to hell. It, that don't mean it have, don't have nothing to do with God. God ain't into saving people and stuff like that. It's either you going to get like God or stay where the fuck you at. That's that's how it is in the spiritual world. Pardon me. Y'all even many versions of that. Y'all play that out now. Y'all ever had somebody leaning and depending on y'all in a way that y'all can see they don't have to and things of that nature? Eventually, you're going to let that baby swim on its own in some way, regardless if it hurts you for a little bit because you know that's the necessity of, that any individual need because that's what you had to go through for you to be in a position for this person to use you as a crutch in the first place. You think no motherfucking all possibility group of spirits and gods and shit. You think they don't think that same way? 20X volume, Dragon Ball Z, power meter glasses version in that? Shit, you been lying to yourself. What you think I'm dealing with? And I'm Archangel Uriel. And I refuse to call myself gods and y'all little gods and shit. That's, that's, I stay far away from the demonic words. And the words itself is demonic. You know what I'm saying I hate using words. I'm trying to get us to a place where it was already understood. Don't need to be said that we already going to be creating lighter organs that play more like a cloud than a physical blood flow. And y'all eating ritual vessels and first days of Sunday type shit and communion. You know what I'm saying? Cannibalism. Same shit. Same shit. Ain't nothing different. Every first Sunday, the, the sun at the first corner towards the east. You know what I'm saying? Then you know got the four weeks per per uh, month. So then the sun, the uh, uh, the moon, the sun go to the north. Second week, third week go to the uh, west. Fourth week go to the uh, uh, south. You know what I'm saying? Then it start over again. Then when you go to the first another other Sunday, that first day again, here y'all go eating some uh, micro micro Easter Eastern star Jesus flesh communion cannibalism witchcraft again. You know what I'm saying? But in y'all mind, y'all saving yourselves or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like in y'all mind. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. If you understand the universal law, you create anything off of beginnings and look at a beginning and be like, okay, this is the beginning. I'm going to be, I'm going to stop being a flunked out ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? You can start that right now and come up with your own concept or something like that. Now you part of God's children. No, they got a program for you. So you got to do it on that day, put all the money in the, in the collection plate. And guess what? You need to do it next month. Then you got to do that. So did you ever change? Did it ever work? Nope. You just use yours for someone else bread loaf and you always got to go and give crumbs and get the crumbs and stuff like that. And small mental eases. You know what I'm saying? That's called a spiritual crack house. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Where you're getting little small, small doses of feel goods and stuff like that. But your mind get damaged as soon as you leave the church. It's damaged again. You know what I'm saying? So as soon as you go back to work again, it's damaged again. As soon as you, so it's like, damn, did it ever work? Or do it seem like somebody draining you? And you got to sit back. You really got to think that. And then that's when you'll be like, oh, it's some golem. This is some goddamn spiritual golem that be chasing me around and shit. When I'm at work, when I'm at the crib, constantly talking to me, telling me to show up with the preacher man and stuff like that. And then it'd be that small feel good. As soon as I leave again, I'm hurting again. I feel like uh, uh, goddamn it, Debo and, and Red again. And Craig and goddamn it, Smokey again and shit like that. When goddamn it, they be talking now, but when D they don't be talking with Debo there, but when he leave, they be talking again type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, when you be at church, you feel all good. You leave, you still talk to it again. Got to go back to now. You at goddamn it, Sunday school, Wednesday, Thursday, you know, Wednesday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? You the whole week. You know what I'm saying? You the whole week and shit like that. At some point, man, that's somebody's golem. No, I say you got to think. So now you need the priest and stuff next to the window and, and stuff and telling them all. No, nah, at that point, this is witchcraft now. This is uh, this is witchcraft now. Then you got to start looking at that building you in and stuff like that. It look like a Masonic lodge and stuff. You're like, man, yeah, I'm getting my soul getting drank. My soul getting drank up and stuff like that. And that's when you know you lost in the world. So, uh, some somebody else created. It's something somebody else. Like all your problems was something somebody else created. Like, you got to think about it. Like, damn, I wouldn't even have had that problem. Like, a lot of times people need the priest and stuff because they stressed out about their bills. Just, just think about it. We, and we all had grade school, and the, the little boys in grade school all knew how to put water pipings and systems together. And we've been doing that for, like, 
50, 60 years already. We're not doing nothing but updating. There will be no such thing as a water bill because you're not paying for the water. you paying for the piping system that filtered the dirt and stuff out for you to even have it in the crib. You see what I'm saying? So that's what you pay. So just, just think about that. It was already a situation. There wasn't even no water bills and shit like that. So for a person that need a psychologist because they had a hard time paying a water bill, that's a whole created mental illness. Like th that mental illness didn't never have to exist in the first. Like y'all get it? Like that mental illness, that, but this is where a lot of mental illnesses come from. But trust me, I know a lot of people that's in jail and got out of jail right now. I can't take care of their kids. Well, like I said a lot of things that drove them to do what they do. This is what I'm talking about right now. That wouldn't even exist. You know what I'm saying? That wouldn't even so it's like a, like the government, how they gonna create something? Then it's like create the problem and a solution and then blame it on us in some way, shape, or form. Then we could have been had a grade in school. We wouldn't even thought about that. That would have never been an issue in the first place. Somebody getting a mental illness because they can't pay the water bill. Oh, would well, have been no such thing as a water bill. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I check, like, water is something we create every day. Like, it's water, like, free. It's, like, just floating around all kind of places. Man, look, there's little spots in, like, North Carolina and stuff like that. It don't matter how dirty the little woods is floating through. If you get your little cup, the water be clean. Like, something filter out. Like, that's something God did. Like, something, something God do is something, like, man can't do. Man, sure know how to capitalize on stuff. Like, ain't gonna lie. Look, man, no, I sure know how to capitalize off some generic version. Some watered down, great value Walmart version or something like that, next to the like real version of something. You got the cinnamon toast crunch, then you got the like the cinnamon bunches of toast and stuff. Y'all say you gotta think like, oh, okay, God is that little river in North Carolina. You see like a good cold water cold. This thing gonna be middle of summertime, water cold, water cold and clean. Also water stream. Y'all say no matter how much dirt is going through, you get a little cup. It's like clean waters, cold and stuff like that. The cinnamon toast crunch on you know, Captain Crunch. Uh, so you got the piping system and stuff like that, the salmonella and stuff like that in the water. What else in the water uh, uh, that they be saying that they be putting in a toothpaste and stuff like that? All that stuff in the water. Yeah. Uh, cinnamon bunch and oats and stuff. Yeah, I said it's like the great value version. You know what I'm saying? Oh, cr crunches with captains and stuff. Yeah, I said some other stuff. Uh, loops with fruits and stuff. Yeah, that ain't the real shit. Oh, that ain't the real shit. I'll say no Cheerios and uh, Squareos. It ain't the real shit. What is that? No wonder we got a slave for it. I say no wonder we got to convince ourselves we got a good job and stuff. We ain't got no good job. I say they got California raising minimum wages right now. I say they all be copying me because I remember that live stream I was telling y'all. How y'all gonna be having stuff that costs like sixty thousand and seventy thousand? Nobody jobs match that. So everybody jobs, no matter if you got a good job, it just lessens the time rate it takes to get that. And the time rate still be six to nine months, even if you're making a lot of money and stuff like that. For an example, they got like P. Diddy out here right now, and he, they say he was close to a billionaire, but they trying to assassinate his character. So they expect us to be retarded when they try to say he owe 100000 or something like that in mortgage or something like that. Look, you going to owe, look, anytime you get a house and you pay a mortgage bill and let's say that your finances get uh, um, infiltrated or whatever that they're doing right now, so how they stopping it and things of that nature, of course they're going to, that's what you owe, period. It's not saying you don't got the money, it's that's what you owe. The news channels is promoting it like, well, really they ain't. They expecting us, which everybody is. Everybody is saying that, oh, Diddy must be broke or something like that. But a, a person who starts talking like that, that's how you tell they kind of retarded or they got a personal vendetta. And I don't give a fuck about P. Diddy. But logically, I see narratives and things of that nature. And, and you don't even have to have as much money as P. Diddy. If you're going to get an expensive house and things of that, of that nature... You you can't get that with cash, and even if you can, it's still gonna be some type of banking system you have to go through. So the the little deal that you make in general, of course, if you go to jail or some shit like that, that's gonna be what you owe. That's not saying you're broke and and you owe that because you haven't been paying it. Everybody know about the IRS. You ain't standing shit if you owe. Know what I'm saying? So obviously they just put promoting the the plan he had with the bank and everybody else is eating that up like did he broke or some shit like that but if if he was staying somewhere for a long time owing that he would have been got repossessed repossessing and kicked out and shit like that obviously that's the deal he got with the bank for the house you know what i'm saying because he can afford that tax bracket duh ain't nobody retarded gonna buy no big ass mansion like that 
up straight cash. You know how it's going to devalue off that. You try to sell it and you it cut in half all that. that that's that's just dumb business wise. That's retarded. I uh, said so, so people don't even think down here on earth that just be trying to scrape with crumbs. But the hell with P. Diddy and his actions too. You know what I'm saying? I've been made a live stream say he just being a goddamn Scorpio. Dog, dog, don't act, don't act surprised. Do not act surprised. There's gonna be some more shit that come out. It's gonna be a whole lot of shit that come out and things of that nature. But is any crimes committed? You know what I'm saying? That's all I give a fuck about. I ain't rich like P Diddy. I can give a fuck about another man. You know what I'm saying? At that point, at, at this point, when God told me to talk about astrology and how they be sacrificing people like that, that be lost in their desires and shit, that should have had a little bit more mental sophistication. You know what I'm saying? And God put me here to look at a distance so I could teach y'all how to actually see things in front of y'all. And when you participate in this world, sometimes you have an original thought where it have got destroyed based upon previously with our carnations, incarnations, and reincarnations nations as far as them trying to control and capitalize over the whole world and the sky so anytime you and your group ancestors spiritual predecessors came up with an original thought that don't agree or is on the other side of their government or covenant or whatever the case may be they create some babylon and separate y'all language not actual language and things of that nature because you could go amongst other people with a different language anytime we're speaking god language will we agree on some terms and conditions we have a common interest and anytime we have a common interest on the other side of government here come their yahweh them bringing light their information from the worship of spring yahweh and and canaanite and bringing that type of confusion when they dump a bunch of stuff that we agree with that we have a common interest but all the survival mode that they dump confuse us so one person become a sellout one person become greedy one person become this one person now now we need a scapegoat and now we no longer speak the same lingo we're no longer agreeing on the same terms and conditions, whether we're speaking the same physical language or not. And that's how they infiltrate with their Yahweh Lucifer information and tear down anytime we're trying to build a community, what they're trying to do now with this online type circumstance. They're trying to create some type of law or crime around what we're doing right now and anybody else online that think they're gathering people with their original thought. They, they're, they're, they're trying to find any right now. They're trying to throw justified circumstances that we can agree so they can create laws that trickle down to the unjustified and false accusations to the word to words like cult or word like taking over people mentally can be confused with vague terms of people building a community online and trying to set up things to do things in real life. And then once that once that waters get muddy and things of that nature, we we didn't sold ourselves to have the government do whatever they want with us and we put our foot in our own mouth based upon them throwing something at us that was justified to make us jump and be like, "Yep, yep, let's do it." And then for the most part, it's the same thing they did with Obama and um Hillary Clinton, right? They made us think they cuz they all part of the government, Republicans and Democrat, but they made us think because this their early psyop of getting us all remixed mentally into being conservatives and things of that nature, whether you're a Democrat or not, a liberal or not. This is why they put Biden back there. So all the liberals can see how retarded this still is and know that nobody really voted for uh, Biden, Biden or was on the fence or didn't vote at all or mostly voted for Trump. So it's a psyop. Now, look, here's the thing, right? They're trying to steer us mentally first so they don't have to do so many things hanging us upside down on the cross martial law type tactics with the mind manipulation. We're willing to get up and do these things ourselves, such as social distancing, right? Now. Here's the thing. They did the same thing with Obama and Hillary Clinton. They made us think that Hillary Clinton had some goddamn it um, emails or something like that, that somehow we ain't never at the round table to know what they talking about in the first place and discuss gas prices. Why do we have to give a fuck now if it's hiding something? So they dumped the narrative on us to make us care about Hillary Clinton even having an email and then created a narrative to make us be like, oh, this was an email that she had and knowing goddamn well she had an email and got rich way before a lot of y'all was even out of Pampers. Now, for the most part, here's the thing. Then they had Obama making it seem like that he had some type of business uh, um, 
GoFundMe type shit, 501c shit, right? Now, here's the thing. These motherfuckers rich anyway. All they did was had us be like, yeah, let's go against that. Now, ain't nobody 501c plan get fucked up or emails get investigated but y'all's. So once, once all the distractions after they had us push ourselves in a certain way, right, of saying, yeah, let's, let's expose emails, yeah, let's expose 501c plans, then, okay, they like, yeah, they all voted for this, this is where society going, then they dumped a whole bunch of distractions, my, Mike, Mike Pete, um, and the goddamn Dr. Falky and all these stupid ass people, all these distractions and shit like that, all the flowing things in the air, and before you know it, uh, nobody gave a fuck about Obama's goddamn 501c plans no more, nobody, did Trump became president and shit, nobody gave a fuck about goddamn Hillary Clinton emails, but you need about five goddamn passwords and, and click on every picture you see a bus or a street curve at and things of that nature before you even get in your goddamn email. Look like your email the only one being investigated. Now y'all need all these goddamn ENFIs and all these different credit things and things of that nature because they switched the game and switched the rules when you got good at it and things of that nature. It seemed like the only people 501c plans got fucked up as y'all's. So these is concepts of y'all putting y'all foot in your own mouth anytime they throw something that can be justified up there but something from your background because we don't know how to take charge of our own class and community and people who come from our background regardless of the race help them with their me mental illness regardless if they're rich or not before they go too far down the rabbit hole puppet lane and then they're able to throw these in front of us give us little crumbs to make us think we need to gather gather it up for ourselves with promises that we could get rich like them going against them then ultimately place us in the same situation that we can't even get in that position even if we are good healthy holy spirits thank you so much for the donation south uh, hour i appreciate that for the bottom mark so this is how we destroy our own path and give our power to them before our will even get exaggerated you know what i'm saying you said why is the conservative push uh happening and things of that nature because they want everybody to be more uh independent when it comes to constructing business due to the fact of how technology and society is going we got online we got um all these online businesses and things of that nature and um all of that is more predicated on having to be more self-sufficient and it's that can't there's not a lot of programs they ain't they really trying to get even money technology all, all on technology and things of that nature too much liberalism would take us back to food stamps with paper and stuff like that and and people who retarded who can't think enough and they still need the government to do everything so these people will be in a mind state generally of not learning all the new things that they're trying to put on phones, computers, and stuff like that to the point that it'd just be a whole bunch of outdated people being liberal in, in that type of way. So that's why they're trying to push everybody into conservatism in some way, shape, or form. You know what I'm saying? So um, this is what... So it, it's working a little bit. This is why a lot of y'all grandmothers, aunties, parents, and stuff like that is getting more sufficient on the phones and computers and tablets and stuff like that because every it's a it's a whole psyop of people learning how to individualize themselves so, and it's a new way that they can categorize everybody too to see what we are giving our energy to because the the next psyop right now is attacking the generation z so they're going to use a lot of people like me a lot of other people that they think get a lot of attention that may not necessarily be speaking the things that they want create little puppets, give them a lot of likes and stuff like that, and speak the lingo that can get into the minds of the Generation Z right now. So they can have Generation Z into politics and into voting and into things of that nature. It's too many individuals like me and other individuals online that steer y'all in the whole opposite direction, which is why PSYOPs, my shadow ban, as far as my numbers and things of that nature, they do a lot of, the intel agencies do a lot of stuff to try to maintain control um, as far as the narrative and where they want to steer society in when they don't feel like they're controlling people's minds, which they shouldn't be in that position in the first place. They should be able to show themselves and they will be in a position just like YouTubers and TikTokers and things of that nature see they having small issues by even having influencers on youtube and tiktok and ig and stuff having more followers than these politicians and things of that nature so they're getting into compromising infiltrating giving checks and things of that nature to um um all these platforms and stuff to twitter uh, uh uh all these other situations and stuff like that to because they know that their news channels and things of that nature is losing steam losing audience rev uh revenue and, and attention so they're in wiggle room right now with that also they're in wiggle room trying to find out how to 
squeeze out individuals like me, but not in such an obvious way where it seemed like it's obvious, but throw in individuals like that, that cater more to, so this is individuals that y'all see like Candace Owens and stuff like that, or other, or, or other, Joel, Joel Rogan, you know what I'm saying, and things of that nature, the, the, the dude Destiny, and things of that, that, like, these is individuals like puppets that they are fine and start to put in certain places and certain things of that nature where there's other individuals that's way more intelligence that actually practice what they preach because th you have to practice what you preach i don't give a fuck what you're talking about you know what i'm saying no matter what you talk about you got to practice what you preach that's in that's even in the bible you got to practice what you preach so anytime somebody ain't practicing what they preach it's bullshit somewhere down the line or or it's grifter energy somewhere and things of that nature so when we start to see that it's the government get, giving us some watered down version of us and we supposed to give up our own power and all pay attention to that just for that person to be in a position in the first place they wouldn't be in that position if they're not open-minded to be compromised from the lens of the government putting them in that position so it's someone that's scraping the ground just enough to scrape up the low-hanging fruit for us to have our arguing for or against energy just for them to be in that position to be compromised anyway whenever the government see fit to throw them through a tarot card moment and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's taking away their job, taking them through something that you was pushing yourself so hard for, they take it they take it away in some way and you get to see the destruction based upon how much energy we're giving it. If it catered to one of their natures in the future, they'd make this person have a survival story. They'd put this person in better positions or something like that. If it, if it means whatever, however we're reacting is catering to how they're trying to steer society. You see what I'm saying? And that's how they be playing it out too. Now, for example, right now we got the sun in Aries, we got Lilith and Libra. So this is their shit. So they use numerology, gematria, all, and not how y'all get online and think about it. They created the practice, so they're using it, using it, not figuring out how you're trying to figure it out. So they're using it, using it. The influence is itself as my manipulation. The sun in Aries, this means individuality, giving birth to something new. Pardon me, Lilith. Is in Libra, so this is their great Amon Ra, uh, Maat energy, left, right, Jaquim Boaz, wisdom, beauty, all this type of left, right, left, right, left, right type of witchcraft and things of that nature. So, all the narratives that they're going to be using the puppets based upon each audience that this puppet attract, they're going to create a tarot card moment. And here's the thing tarot card moments doesn't, doesn't always deal with. Negative scenarios. If you're a celebrity, you should know this. When you reach positive situations, it's because you had this person recommended this. They said, oh, this is going to look like this. This is going to have this outlook. And if it's successful and you get paid, you're not looking at it in the same lens as they are creating the same craft when you go through negative shit. You see what I'm saying? All of this is to, to steer everybody that you attract as far as your audience in a certain way. And they're sitting around being puppet masters from a distance. Now, right now, the little play that they're running is Sun and, Sun and Lilith, right? Now, look, check this out. Lilith represent embarrassment or, or something in the dark being brought to the light and you having to deal with those emotions at your most light cloth layer. Because before you even create the sun and the moon, the first awareness is what they're calling Lilith. Remember, the first man is a woman. So when you become aware for the first time and start being like, hmm, I like being inside of this that you was once outside of that you created around you, boom, it become also... The first layer before all the other layers that even spark fusion friction and pressure like sun and things of that nature and characteristics as something that's closest to you that you don't want to be pierced through and things of that nature. So at this point, it's not even an insecurity. It may it may be something you don't even understand, but it's your first cloth that once that's pierced through, you're totally naked. And that might be something that uncovers as itself based upon what zodiac sign you choose to make that first layer in. That will be a Lilith sign, right? So it's a it's a scary moment when a person go through embarrassment or extreme vulnerability or being exposed or being naked for something that they have created as their first bubble. You're Lilith. You see what I'm saying? So here's the thing. Now, Lilith at being in Libra right now, they're going to be creating a whole bunch of tarot, psyop, astrological, astronomical type of concepts through these celebrities, a.k.a. some individual going to go through a death and a rebirth, Aries. Easter, Eastern star that's on a stage right now, 
coming from exaltation. Everybody praising as below version, as above, the sun is exalted in Aries during this time. And it's, it's, we're getting ready to reach a climax also when it reached 19 degrees Aries. But because that's when it's at the exact point. But um, for the most part, the story that they're going to make this celebrity or this puppet go through going to be something brought to the light or something negative based off their relationships or they networking in some way, shape or form, which we already seen that being uh, played out and stuff like that. <coughs> we can see, <coughs> pardon me, Diddy being an Eastern star propped up right now. And how is he getting attacked through what? His relationships, his networking, not like he got caught with a, a crime. He got pulled over and the cops found the gun. He got pulled over and the cops found him in action. No, reports of his his networks, his relationships, Libra and things of that nature. Now, you might see someone else who not at a high level, but they might be in a situation based upon the audience that they attack. If they in government a little bit and they get in a government check, check the audience that they attract. It'd be the same type of circumstance and things of that nature. You can even use Candace Owens, whatever like that. She just got fired from her job, right? She's being prodded up, prompted up by a certain uh, a certain audience, right? So this is the perfect time to create a psyop, especially if she's in connection with any Jew. And whatever Jew can be used as a vessel because they don't know no better. They're just closer to running better in the, in the system. But they're retarded too. The real Maces and Jews is behind, but the people who just plan these out, they just either get more grace than others, which is why you in a college, somebody going there for free and you in college debt. But like I said, right, her individuality, right, based upon her relations, her networking or her diplomatic concept or whatever the case may be, could get her having to go through a death and a rebirth or get another job or start another path with her charismatic or her solar plexus or what she's showing as a blazing star anytime we express our charismatic or our solar plexus and things of that nature our character towards whatever we're focusing that attention towards and things of that nature so that be our energy with that whatever field that we involve in ourselves with to obtain an audience so on her level you're seeing the same thing you're seeing a whole bunch of death and transformations at this times so on each level where it's not something so deep and serious, but if you're deep in the game, it can appear and made up as serious, such as a person like P. Diddy, deep in the game, which they could take about 800000 of our motherfucker tax dollars and make a theatrics of raiding this motherfucker house, but he's still out motherfucker side and shit like that. So it's all a motherfucker distraction and entertainment to push our mind in a certain narrative so, so they're eradicating a certain desire. And if we want to be in a certain position like P. Diddy, we are known not to do his type and things and he's being used as a vessel hung on a cross right now as a, as a representation of them sacrificing some character to their god thank you so much uh for the donation folk come come in i appreciate that from the bottom of my heart real shit and got a channel following my all social networks you said i'm going through this right now ever since i hopped on your stream they've been uh messing with my platform yeah the, hey you know what there's there's a new thing going on right now uh, that i peaked um and i'm pretty sure it's the intel agencies they're kind of, it's like a new AI robot. And they're trying to, like they're trying to make people do certain things that's going to benefit each app platform in the future. Like, like shit like this. I think they want people to put things on subscribers only. Because I think they're going through an update system or something like that. And they create certain things to make all the way down to the Mark Zuckerberg shit. Like you'll get a computer and you don't even need no virus thing. And they create a reason why you got to get the virus thing. IG do the same psyop. IG will create a whole bunch of fake pages of yours if you lit a little bit and give it false views and shit like that. No regular person know how to do that and shit like that. And if it is, I don't know what kind of shit is going on. But for the most part. They create these programs, but that was for us to pay for a check and things of that nature. So they're not just giving one. We got to pay for it. It's like they create things to make us pay for it. Or if it ain't things we're paying for, it's um things that they want us to participate in. And they do a little psyop to force us to participate in it ourselves. Because once they do the update, that's going to be a sufficient thing anyway that people need to be doing. Even all the way down to... Yeah, you get monetized off ads.
ads and things of that nature. But on the flip side, you know, for people who hate, who hate ads, YouTube created a circumstance where they can pay for ad free YouTube. So it's all about money. Ooh, pardon me. It's all about money and stuff like. But I be seeing a little psyops ran on apps, and I be like, man, this is it's this can't be. This is something being dumped on at one time as a wave, and then we see a different thing being dumped on as a wave, and then you start thinking like, oh, okay, this is some agency intelligence utilizing this. I mean, it take you right to the intel agencies and stuff like that. And then when you get on Google and type in intel agency and go to the website, the first picture show you, tell you what they do. It show you everything. Like it, it is exactly what I'm talking about. It's like they don't even lie. It's like they don't even lie. Look, I'm about to do it right now. Intel agencies. And you right there in California. Uh Fulcrum, shout out to Fulcrum. He right there in California. That's exactly where they at. The where they deep at. They deep. They deep over there in California. As soon as you go to the website, they got good old pictures up there, young people up there working like they got a good old job. Where's where's that website at? Oh, uh, says is this regular, regular old people get ready to be somebody's auntie and uncle too. Oh, says so it's just all it's, it's all of us building their world. They really like us really saying nay for real. I can't find it. But look at look at all the symbols though. That's all we need to see. Look at all them symbols. All the Masonic symbols and things of that nature. You got the got the queen, got the uh, got the uh, uh, the corona. I uh, say you got the eagles, all that stuff. Look, you all uh, you got the, uh, the all the four the Tom, Dick, Joe, and Harry. That's uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. That's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John right there. The four corners of the world: Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Yahweh, Yahweh, and all witchcraft. There's all symbolism and stuff like that. Because you know. People will be like, oh, that that's not ran by Masons or whatever and things of that nature. Would the, that don't even make sense what you just said. If symbolism itself, they created it. So if all of them are using symbols, all of them are Masonic ran. You know I'm saying because if, if I'm a, if I'm going to use something, I wouldn't even use their whole system. I'd be doing something else. And the moment I, I meet a blockage, even if it ain't a person blocking me, a light bulb going to go on my head. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, okay, I'm being stopped by somebody else in this world. Oh, this is a group of cats creating a golem here. And now, now the fight is on. Let the best man win. I'm only in that time. I don't got no PR in mind. You got to look at things that simple. Because you have a religious person like, oh, a cross is this or a cross is that. Listen, if no group of Masons sat back with no Jews and be like, we about to do cross, we about to do symbols, no, nobody would even care about a cross. For you to even be like Masons ain't in control of that. They is in control of that. You always got to look at the template. Look at the mechanism first. Before you get lost in any of the biases. When you get lost in the biases, you stop understanding. Like, you could be a Hebrew Israelite. You could be a Muslim. You could be a Christian. You could be a Calvinist. Uh, you could be uh, um, all these things, Mormon, right? All y'all God is a, a form of light. Who created a God coming in light? That that see, boom, and go back to a Mason. That's what I'm saying, y'all. Y'all, it's a you got to look at the mechanism, look at the prac, look at the practice. Never follow the history or the money, or you, you'll follow the history and the money uh, so much you would think somebody in the sky got money and they started history or something like that. And then now you really in La La Land. You really in la la land because then somebody got to bring you back down to earth. One in a person on earth. Where where was this person on earth writing about somebody in the sky with money and stuff and stuff like that? And the first person here in history and stuff like that before uh, a person even existed and ink even existed. Then you got to you got to bring up. So you got to let a person know their starting points is wrong. You know, I said they keep following the history and the money uh, saying you're you going to follow the book, the Bible or something like that. That's that's following the history and the money. Whatever ruler was making money off of it or whatever history about it and shit like that. You're not following the practice, though. The practice is, oh, motherfuckers create books and call it Bibles. And motherfuckers create books and call it creation stories. You're not, you're not following a practice. That's a practice. Who sat around and said, let's create a creation story? Now you got to jump in the mind of the, their starting points. That, I, I, I always, I think like that. Like, I don't, that's the way you're supposed to think. That's how you get to the universal law. And then you'll be understanding where all they business, entertainment, education, religion, and politics even come from. And it'll be coming from small dick energy. Like, it don't really be coming from nothing powerful. Like, So magic, you'll start seeing it as, oh, magic ain't nothing but my manipulation. I've been manipulated mentally. And I've been, I've been stared away from what I'm actually supposed to be observing. 
And the things I'm observing, I've been trained to look at it a different way. And I only been trained to look at it to use how I've been taught about it to argue with someone who looked just like me. Know what I'm saying? And that, and then you start to realize that's not the world. You you'll start to see as an unsafe world. Like they they be copying me all the way down to like I told y'all. God ain't tell y'all to really be making no planes and 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 traveling from city to city and state to state. And didn't they go ahead and shut down that bridge? So all this man made shit is just falling apart. That shit got me kind of scared to hit the road a little bit. Shit, ain't no telling what the government trying to do around election season and shit like that, like some 9-11 type shit. So we got to blame our aunties and uncles or something like that. But they did they did some perfect shit, some perfect shit to make us blame ourselves and something. But like, you know I said, how that bridge just collapsed so smoothly and something like that and killed them people and stuff like that. Like, nah, hold on, wait a minute. That bridge been up there that damn long. Where's the Masonic anchoring systems? Nah, somebody got to take some self-accountability for real. You know what I said? Somebody got to start taking self-accountability because... I don't think, I don't think y'all be peeping game. And they do anything when there's a, too many people speaking against the other, speaking on the other side of things. <laughs> That's how they look at it. They look at it like that. Y'all need to get eradicated, and then make examples when it's suitable. And they only do it in small hands. The most largest is like War Nine Eleven. But they do it in small portions in cities, that, in, in, in uh, corporations, countries that's actually still building the world. Like they might complain a little bit, but they still get the fuck up and jump to their nine to fives, business, entertainment, education, religion and politics and built their world. Third world countries that still need the government and below liberalism and stuff like that. They use these as the highest uh, uh, disposable uh, depopulation control examples so a lot of times these be the war grounds and stuff like that and innocent people and stuff like that and ha them having to make up religious concepts about why it's justified some stupid stuff when we start to talk against those narratives too much they do little tests every now and then they do some nate some napalm bomb in japan they do some slavery act with all the races in their own way in America uh, or, or they do some 9-11 type stuff or make you go to war to fight something that you don't know what you get ready to take your life about or some health crisis that you don't know what you get ready to take what they claim is healthy for you. And we're not going to get into that. But for the most part, uh, they do a bunch of these things and stuff like that as a as a form of showing us that it can happen if we don't shut the fuck up and these these events that a little small portion of people get that that be your aunties and uncles that die or you if you was in one of these situations or you was in a 9-11 building it brings us together and distract us from the actual concept at hand of what's actually going on from a masonic point of view and how bush is being praised behind closed doors for different reasons what they're making us praise him for and stuff like that and therefore um because he's reaching quotas man i ain't know exactly you know what i'm saying but we get so distracted into with the news us bonding and stuff like that it takes us a good four five years to look back at shit to be like but hmm what about this this wasn't right this ain't right how the ball how the building fall like that how do you know what i'm saying but it, it, it take us a good cloudiness of they know how to do it real good they know how to make us distracted real good it's like they do it every time real good throw a wool over our eyes real good no, I'm saying they, they do it so slick and they, they steer society in that way. All of, that's why I always make the movie Cloverfield and Blair Witch Project an example. Those was the early stages of them testing the waters, them bringing online popping in 2012 and things of that nature to get us into being more comfortable with recording ourselves, even in private matters um, um, and things to make it a norm. So we always putting our foot in our own mouth. So first couple big movies, they like, hmm, let's promote these online since we're making online the new TV at this time. And the main narrative that these they're based on different things. But the main thing that they have in common is first person. So for the most part, this would psych our mind up by making these movies so lit when we watch it and already being programmed. So. We, they don't even need to promote no more movies like that. We already walk in Cloverfields. We already walk in Blair Witch Projects. We don't even know what we would do without getting up, pushing record, or snapping a picture in somewhere in our private setting. You know what I'm saying? So this this is their way of creating that new matrix thingy again at the Keymaker Room 
and looking at everybody in, in, in a way that they could do it in person now because it was a little harder just having to do it through your social security and your zodiac and your natal chart and stuff like that and the, the date you born and shit. Now they get to know that and see you. No, I said they like, oh shit, this is better. I say all kind of good cameras and shit. Now, 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 don't think it's gonna be so crystal clear when they want to create an alien psyop. Don't think it's gonna be so crystal clear when they want to say something floating in the air or something. But when it's when it's catching you, when it's watching you, oh shit, HD, 4K, T, everything. Shout out to NBA, young boy, all that shit. Everybody caught the 4K track. Y'all say real sad, so you gotta be gay. You know what I'm saying? A little green spots, a little green. We all about the money heart chakra going on and shit like that. No, I'm saying real shit. You know, shout out to YB. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? That, yeah, they, they know how to walk the game. So everything is Big Brother. Everything is that all C&I. They, they just figure out new updated versions of all C&Is now. Once upon a time at the Watchtower time, they used to just be at the biggest building and whatever that they was making us build. You know what I'm saying? Don't think a country was already a country. Every little small little portion was just the world. Because I'm the Indian. I'm telling y'all that. Every little small portion, y'all you know I'm saying, from Ohio and then from North Carolina and the ones I'm just brought from Ohio. I mean, brought from North Carolina to Ohio. So I was born in Ohio. But like I said, like, the, that's your one world. Yo, one park, y'all you know what I'm saying? They came and start gentrifying and carving out things and did witchcraft and sell out, start making deals with them and stuff like that. Then all the slaves that they, not slaves, just workers, people with jobs that they brought over here from where they coming from and stuff like that. And then people over here already making deals and stuff like that. When we start to get to the Blackfoot, the Catabas, the, the Chakwa, the Chakwas, the, the, um, um, Barracudas, uh, um, the, the, I can get it. I can get into all of that goddamn shit. Like, but that's the that's the real history. I don't know what all these other people be talking about, but it, it, all y'all mutts today. You know what I'm saying that, that. Let's not get into that though. But like I said, the, the people start making deals and stuff like that, and then it's, you either you either get down or lay down. At this point, it don't matter the race now. It's like you get down with the program or you don't. And the, you, if you down with the program, it's like the bole or it's like somebody joining the police force or something like that you're with the you're with society right now we're so far down the line we're all lost now we're all wrapped up in it but at the early stages you know what i'm saying the only form of war this new made up war with all the races together and stuff like it wasn't nothing like that and it was lack of races back then it was this phenotypes and different type it was an early blend before categorizing but look at this time Motherfuckers with jobs, accepting a bole, going to take over another geographical location and things of that nature, right? This is how you get a whole lot of um, how all y'all Spanish people is in Florida and things of that nature. Then once you rise up, all the Indian people, Carolinas and stuff like that, Ohio and stuff like that, Ohio Indians and stuff like that. Then you get to the northern uh, New York. This is where a large portion of the people who came from boats set up shop at by having a good job. It, this ain't the D they, they over exaggerated stories and stuff. Like I'm telling you. So this is why New York's such a melting pot, but got a lot of like Haitians, Jamaicans, you know what I'm saying? Then on the flip side, Dominicans and stuff like that. They are already in some bole type shit. Now I'm not saying New York is bole. No, just, I'm, everybody, we all, hey, we all much right now. I'm just talking about early stages of stuff for them to even make movies like Life or make other movies like you being a Northern and you look down on Southern. But those type of movies, y'all not l watching it in the lens of when y'all be having y'all slavery debates because these are just good movies, but it's still based on the same time. You're not understanding that. Man, they just playing psyops on y'all. Like a lot of this stuff be over exaggerated, but the real, the real deal, all the way down to like the underroll railroad, motherfuckers had a job. Same way you just built all the New York City, uh, goddamn train roads and shit like that. You woke up, you had a job. What make you think it was any time different? That's why don't don't get too lost in no like like CGI pictures on Google and stuff or these movies like Django and stuff. Nah, there's, there's some shit be over exaggerated. And every now and then it got to a 9-11 kind of concept. That's not an everyday thing, though. What you see every day is a mechanism. And that's when God show you that's when something is real. If you can see it every day, it happens. So if you can see water condensing and evaporating and condensing every day, that's something exists. If you see something happen every once in a blue moon, man made. Mentally or physically, it's man-made. You know what I'm saying? It's man-made. So if you go through certain thoughts and feelings every day, right? But it's every once in a blue moon, you go through extreme depression or whatever like that. That's a man-made 
thought form, you lost in, not a godly one. And then all the way down to the physical one, which is the normal one that I would have broke down first, but you know I'm the spiritual channel. I like to always bring it to the esoteric layer. Yes, that, that exists spiritually. People got you fucked up spiritually and mentally. Anything we see in nature and stuff like that every day, God did it. We see something once in a blue moon and things of that nature, a man made. Man made that. Even even if you want to stretch out the time, what God what God did, it ain't no goddamn spring once in a blue moon. It's spring every year. It ain't no goddamn fall once in a blue moon. It's fall every year. You know what I'm saying? It ain't got no, no summer once in a blue moon. It's like, even if you want to stretch it out, it's a year every year. It's going to be a year every year. So that's a, if you, no matter how you stretch it out, God mechanism is still there somewhere. The once in a blue moon type shit a man made right there. I'll say, bro, man, once in a blue moon, oh, global warming. Not man made. I'll say, what, well, once in a blue moon, there's a climate change. Oh, man made right there. I'll say, that's how you gotta, you gotta separate. Separate. Anytime something happened, once in a blue moon, man made. Oh, flood story, man made. So anytime they try to warn us about another one, there's some man behind it orchestrating it, using technology. Always understand that. You know I'm saying anything God show you, God said is every day. Whether you stretch it out, you can stretch it out to years, decades, army years, eons and eons and shit like that. I bet you somebody talk about another eon coming. See that you know wasn't a blue moon, child. Something happened in wasn't a blue moon. Oh, man made. Don't get lost. Don't get lost, child. That's how God coming. That's how God teach you good mechanisms and stuff like that. Good mechanisms and stuff. No, I said it's like all oh, this president. It wasn't always a president. It was kings and rulers. There was pharaohs and shit like that. Man, he's some once upon a time type shit. Oh, this is a man-made shit. Man-made. Got nothing to do with God. None of that got nothing to do with God. You know what I'm saying? Because look, no matter the ruler, the religion, the, the king, the queen, the pharaoh, shit. All of them experience spring. You know what I'm saying? All of them experience summer coming back again. You know what I'm saying? All of them experience some shit that ain't no once in a blue moon type shit. God gonna show us how to separate some shit. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. God gonna show you how to separate some shoe shit. So don't even get lost into these goddamn mental uh, illnesses. Cancer. Diabetes. All the way down to STDs. Man-made. Man-made. You get on Google right now. Somebody say, oh, some man discovered it 2,000 years ago. How? You just discovered it with the technology you got in the 21st century. How they discover that shit? Oh, shit. Man-made. Anytime something once in a blue moon. Shit, remember they gave us all chicken pox? What happened? The kids got something else now. And then before chicken pox, right? What was it? The, the, the swine flu? I just forgot about that. It's something like, why is it something like always once in a blue moon jumping in? It ain't something like, God, it's the man-made. Man-made shit. Or Jesus Christ. So we just forgot all about before us going to seventh grade. We got to get the chicken pox now. We done got distracted with all the other ones now. It was the, the, the flu, the, the twine flu, the pig flu, all these other ones now. Now they got some other ones. They got two different ones. You know what I'm saying? We all like, did, did we forget though? Did we forget? I know y'all ain't forget. I know I remember. They straight told my mother. Yeah, all the kids at this time, if they don't get this shot, they can, They got possibilities of dying if they get chicken pox at the age of 21 or something like that. So if they go ahead and get the shot, then everybody got it and get scratched. Everybody had to scratch their shoulder blades and stuff for that first week and stuff like that. And then, then it like went away. And then we thought in our mind, oh, we ain't going to get it as we get older. Who said we had to have that at all? That's that, Now you got older and had to think about it. The whole, that was a psyop. They was te lab testing everybody. This don't make no sense. Make no sense. So ain't no telling. Like half of us probably blind. Blind in one eye and stuff like that. Extra fatigue and stuff like that. We somewhere thinking it got something to do with us. And we got to change our diets or something. No, it's stuff that's cast this practice on us. Look, this practice stuff. Yeah, they just cast this practice stuff. Like, that's crazy, though. This world is messed up. And they think that since they in the lab testing in on rats and stuff long enough, they think they okay because they're developing a healthy way of doing it. There's no such thing as healthy eating or anything. But they think, oh, this this way is a, is really a slow death. But this doesn't harm them. Same way, the same mind state that they in with the neuralink. 
Think about it. They're in a mind state like it don't harm you and y'all are cheering and things of that nature. But just think about it. Like without the meaning that they putting behind it, you're actually putting something in your brain. I don't want nobody putting nothing inside of me and things. Of the, you know what I'm saying? What? What? You know what I'm saying? So it's like y'all not even really thinking like and stuff like that. But it's like they're just practicing stuff on y'all. And the more y'all give y'all arms up into some form of convenience that they put behind it, y'all all give y'all mark to that beast at that period of time. Y'all give all y'all blood, sweat, and tears to that desire that they made up. As a convenience that you gonna die still be unfulfilled if you ain't got a large ass bill. That alone gonna make you die with a smirk on your face. Thank you so much for the donation. Uh cool, uh KDA Universe. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. You said uh they losing now, everyone catching on to their BS. And they, and then they need they're in a wiggle room right now. So they're trying to figure out how to infiltrate shit like this that I'm talking about. They're trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? And I don't like them playing with me like that. But at the same time, I see the little play that they running and stuff. And the last little leg that they got is in hopes of y'all to be distracted by likes still. And distracted by platforms still. On people who's being presented and might end up on TV and stuff. And if that no longer distracts y'all and stuff like that, then y'all gonna really start seeing... How they show they motherfucking hand. They try to get back control. You know what I'm saying? They gonna really start showing they motherfucking ass and doing some real unjustifiable shit. And that's them bringing their small dick energy out of them. Out of themselves. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I'm I, here to eradicate that. And things of that nature. Ain't no Jewish or Mason colder than me when it comes to golems and talismans and stuff. That's why it kind of, it, sometimes it kind of tripped me out that they be playing with me like that. Like, they in control of my destiny or something like that where they wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for me. You know what I'm saying? So, like, at some point, if they're not supporting, they're going to hell. I don't understand why they on this, this side of energy where they're in their ego a little bit. They need to chill out. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, yeah, I'm not even coming down correct and showing y'all the real behind-the-scenes world and things of that nature for us all to actually know that that's the world we made and condensed this world into be. And when you understand that they're just over exaggerating a lot of stuff anyway, it ain't too much things that or it ain't too many A's they could throw against the wall and to convince you about anything. You know what I'm saying? So they're either gonna have to work with you or or do some genocide type stuff that they always trying to do anyway. You know what I'm saying? But I, I I like to be intelligent enough to show them I'm aware of what you got going on. So you gotta work with me, or you're breaking some type of universal law, and you will never win in that level. You know what I'm saying? Because whoever good or, whoever better at the game and the universal law that don't need this type of language or any type of circumstance will always win. And they won't do nothing but create a more hell in a situation that they will have to suffer at the front row of the movie theater to see that happen. Because none of their intellectual properties will be sustainable in whatever world God used and create an atmosphere or a and use that person as a vessel to eradicate those natures that can't breathe in any new shift or atmospherical weather that we're going through as far as an astrological storm. So, you know, you can't maintain a form too long based off small dick energy. It doesn't work like that. You know what I'm saying? And and they know that. So a lot of times they either in a copying energy and, and having to manipulate and sometimes when they can't do that, they go a little too far and stuff like that. But, you know, the universe keep them in check based upon having individuals like me here also. So you got to peak gang. But, yeah, they create all kind of psyops and by you not being aware of what they're doing, they're allowed to be in a position of not receiving maximum karma. So if you die on your mind, having a whole bunch of reasons, especially if you got like you didn't materialize the way you wanted to. Let's say you you wasn't in the best position family wise, it, physical wise. Right. If you die with on your mind, you coming up with a whole bunch of reasons why you was punished for that. And you had no awareness, a.k.a. no esoteric light to shine in a direction of. How it was possible how you was placed in that type of situation to have that vibration and being able to logically 
straighten out that light as a line so it don't be so curvy and indirect where there is no if, ands, and buts, and you are aware of that in that world and things of that nature, then they won't they won't never have that teamwork makes the dream work, even in a way that's supposed to work negative towards them. It's for them to meet their demise. It almost like them be always being able to throw a rock and hide their hand because when they throw a rock, everybody who get hit with one think they got hit with one because of themselves or some God punishing them or something like that, where you wouldn't even be in some situation getting hit by rocks if you wasn't have in survival mode. You see what I'm saying? Thank you so much for the donation, Jackie New. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Real shit. So it's like they throw you on some type of mental field. And when you get good at the game, they change the rules. And if you never get good at the game, they satisfy with that. And you up there getting hit with rocks, thinking that it's your fault you ain't good at the game. And you wouldn't even be on that field in the first place if they ain't put you in that game. And things of that nature. So that's where it comes time to have to understand, oh, we have to switch the game because this game itself, anytime you get good at it, all they're going to do is switch the rules. You know what I'm saying? So you can never really win. And you have to justify your winning in some way you know that anybody on their deathbed wouldn't be satisfied with that or wouldn't be fulfilled with that. So it, some of these things, still you still wouldn't care about it if you don't have it with your youth. So it's like they're creating some weird type of circumstance that we're just lost in worlds that means nothing but to them. And we're just building it and blaming ourselves when things get hard for us. And that's not right esoterically, but they, they're they not going to meet no demise if it's not enough of us speaking that, letting them know we are aware. We wouldn't even got so far into having cancer and yeast and all that stuff, and we would have been... Oh, speaking aware it would have been no such thing as all of us needing no weird shot before we go in our seventh grade classrooms once we graduate from the sixth grade it would it, and go to junior high it would be no such thing as that if it was a group if everybody really was like wait a minute and coming from the natives of all we already hear and stuff like that we would have been looking at stuff like wait a minute why ain't no animal or no bug gotta take this stuff to make something happen why 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 is always some human stuff that that gotta come every uh that y'all create every now and then it's wars every now and then but god taught us that everything that happens every day is god so we just got men creating things and dumping it on geographical locations and making new man and woman mentally physically and birthing based upon mixture and then for the most part before you know it we got a whole society ran up under their system that they can that they can play God and justify it because we're not shining no light on being aware of what they're doing to us. And then therefore, this puts us behind in any spiritual race. So any type of carnation, incarnation or reincarnation circumstance, anytime you have an original idea, I have an original idea. Your auntie have an original idea. Your brother, your sister. It, there's going to be a person already programmed with the agent glasses that make it seem like it's not normal or in some way. And you're going to feel like you're in a world all alone. These are examples of ancestries being destroyed. And we are the ancestors also. So whether you're coming along with them right now, some ain't come back yet and you ain't leaving come back yet. Right. We're still all here. And based upon being in a situation where your original thought ain't the one that's flourishing and someone else's seem like you're going against it and you might start to blame yourself like, well, maybe I'm not doing something right. That's a defeated spirit. So it's, you know that's a defeated spirit, but you don't know why. And I'm explaining the why. It's because throughout the times, all the forms we're joining, carnation, incarnation, and reincarnation, all the way up to being a human now, we have a collection or a small group of spirits playing the scapegoat collection, teamwork makes the dream work, and creating mind manipulation. Mentally is magic, physically is manipulation, all the way to the mind using your brain, and your brain is physical, being manipulated. And <coughs> them creating a system where <coughs> even when people are rebelling, they know how to do reverse psychology and make the people rebel. 
still do the same thing that they need people to do just for them based upon, you know, studying and looking at people react to respond to the society and updating their philosophy over the time by people who came before us that may have made it work coming to their true knowledge a little faster. And then they seen that and be like, OK, we got to stop this for the future and create a site up around that. This is how they got the flood story. So a lot of people will believe not to do certain things that the government is creating now. In their mind, thinking that the government will, I mean, thinking that the, uh, some God will create another flood story where that story in general and the dinosaurs being extinct is purely based off someone who was powerful enough to maintain a community that may have been on the other side of what the government liked at the time. And the government did something to destroy, destroy them and created some type of philosophy around people with those characteristics. This would have happened to them. And since their God is being filtered through their mouth. This is how they get to play God. And then whatever reasons they come up with to why a God will bring a flood is ultimately going to be if anybody goes against their government, these type of characteristics get destroyed. <coughs> <coughs> and for the most part, <coughs> you get born generations later with this story that people use in oral tradition. They might not even have a full context. They're the, the, the descendants, Masons and Jews, but based upon keeping it running. They still have more access to controlling the mind and still be doing this witchcraft in the right way. And in your mind, you're coming generations down the line along with them, but you're not the person in your college uh, going to school for free. And in the Vatican, you're the one in college debt or having to go. So they're learning something else, even not knowing everything. So they're in the politics and stuff. And you're learning how to be the slave, not knowing everything. But the system is already running. So some oral tradition golem type shit. And in your mind, you're leaving that college thinking if you act a certain way, God is going to bring another flood in some way, shape or form. And this person left college and in, in the Vatican and things learning a new technology to bring the flood and create the fake sun or space, space X or some way, shape or form. So both of y'all think y'all got a good job. Both of y'all lost in the oral tradition. But one person just got a little bit more access than you based upon maybe who who they was born by or based on like the circumstance. But everybody, the only thing that they got is oral tradition. They still stay still dumber than you if you understand these things out, outside for yourself. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of they starting points in today's time on, on the basis of them just thinking they automatically right without deciphering the handful of starting points that the curriculum was based on from the original Masons and Jews that made it in the first place for them to even know if they're right or wrong. So then you see a lot of situations where a person already think the sun is on the east, already think something is this and just add on to it. And now we have Einstein's, Galileo's and stuff. But purely all of them was on the wrong starting point, which is why I'm still going to make a live stream about. And it's probably going to be me showing videos and stuff about how all ancient origin stories are wrong. And how we brought ourselves here and teamwork makes the dream work and all possibilities is God and things which that shall not be anthropomorphized and many spirits could be in that space so this what breaks us down to geographical location spiritually all the way down to what condenses into the physical how we spread things out and actually got different geographical locations and from spirits that's low-hanging fruit from the ones who hang who created y'all world is bringing y'all above their knowledge and help you understand their starting point. And you can look down on that as a higher lens from a better origin and things of that nature. And they're coming from the, the starting point of already being fallen and things of that nature. So this help you understand how um, they're creating a pack and that Gollum mind state is becoming what they're calling God. And this is how they're able to play that out through the vessel that has nothing to do with all possibilities where you have possibilities of being able to do the same thing or do something for all possibilities that eradicate those type of natures that even create forms of rulership and guilt trip and small dick energies and things of that nature. So you have to keep that in mind, too. But let me go ahead and uh, finish so I can get back to 100 percent and things of that nature. And I love all y'all from the bottom of my heart. And this is how they create astrological uh, narratives to steer society in a certain way and use the puppets as a filtering system for these actual events. 
And um, I just broke down the narrative. I could have broke down the actual astrology today of how they might be doing it today. But y'all pretty much got the suggest of it when I broke down Aries and a Libra. I mean, Aries and a Lilith. The sun and Lilith concept with the sun being in Aries and Lilith being in uh, Libra. And all the puppets that we see right now being prompted up as an individual being taken down by their networking, their diplomatic skills, or the way that they communicate about something in some way. And once this shift... And once we go on the bow, the sun going to Taurus, there's going to be a different narrative, different steer, where we're going to see people crash based upon what they have spent their money on or what they have gained their stability or their security on. And anytime someone gave all of their blood, sweat and tears, but those low hanging fruits will be put up to be sacrificed to this Canaanite God for us to be able to be like, yeah, I want to join the business, entertainment, education, religion, and politics, but I'm going to do it this way, and I ain't going to do it that way that this person that we once prompted up is did it, whatever the society and the government create the PSYOP around to make us look at it that way. I love all y'all from the bottom of my heart.